Those beloved fall colors that we see in Ontario might not have the same pop this year that we're used to. Why? Drought stricken forests. So how could the hot and dry conditions we saw this summer affect Canada's fall foliage? Well, typically, as the days shorten, green chlorophyll in tree leaves starts to break down and reveals the yellow and orange pigments underneath. Some trees, such as maple, oak, and sumac, synthesize a pigment in the autumn responsible for turning their leaves into the reds and purples associated with the most brilliant foliage. But if a tree is too stressed, such as from intense drought, the leaves may die off before that new pigment can fully develop and give off its most vibrant color. And then we have this week of cooler weather and cooler weather at night, and that's a cue that fall is co coming for these plants. So for a lot of them, they're gonna just quit now rather than kind of investing more in already already stressed leaves. Susan Dudley, biology professor at McMaster University, explains that many stressed leaves are already turning brown and are too far gone. Those leaves will fall and die without showing those bright reds, yellows, and oranges. Dudley worries that the intense wildfire season we had in Canada may impact the leaves as well. Because all that forest fire smoke is a bunch of active chemicals that can provide cues for plants to, uh, to go into senescence, to start dying back. But there may be hope if Mother Nature stays on our side. If the weather conditions stay optimal, Dudley says some trees still may show those fall colors. I think if it stayed cool and rainy, um, we might have some hope. So if we had a rainy September and then a bright, cold October, that's, I mean, bright, cold October is optimal for fall color.